Hello, people. I'm Jabby Koi, joined by Chara Kirk. What's up? We're looking at Valimai making video with Ajit Kumar, Yuvan Shankar Raja, Evan Noth, and Bonnie Kapoor. This is from Z Studios or uh, Sony Music South, the YouTube channel. So it says, riveting from the word go, presenting the action-packed Valimai making video filled with frames of the phenomenon, hashtag Ajith Kumar. Are we geared up for Valimai? Hangul 2022. Watch the official Tamil making video here. You guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Here we go. Oh. I was like, ah, is it wearing a- It's artificial rain. I told you it was artificial rain. See, your ass didn't believe me. You're like, no, that's just how it is in, in India. In Asia, it's just a lot of rain. No, I get that it's, uh, you're making a movie. Of course it's artificial rain, and, but it like- No, it, you straight up said they checked the weather report that day and they made sure it was raining that day. That's how they shot that. I never said anything of the sort. I just said that it looks like proper rain. I mean, when you have a proper rainstorm in Asia, it, it rains like that. I don't know, you guys- Challenge accepted. Back me up. <laughs> What? Whoa. Okay, Wait. I'm glad I saw that because I used to do that with my weight vest and I'm like, I wonder if anyone else does this. This guy straight up had like- What's that, like, like 50 pounds, 25 pounds on his back? What is that? Well, I, how am I supposed to know a Char Kirk? All I know is that there's weight on his back and that's pretty cool because it increases the uh, amount of resistance. Form. Yeah. Oh. oh. Oh, that's so cool. They got people on rollerblades, like filming. Oh, so intense. What? Hold on, I gotta see that again. What the hell happened there? It's Whoa. like they just shot the, what? They're being ejected like rockets. Like, yeah. Like from a cannon. What? Oh yeah, this is the shot where there are no people on it. They just literally ejected them. That's wild. And then they just, Wow. So yeah, it really is a lot of practical stunts. Oh. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Ah! Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, they buffered. What the hell? <laughs> I was like getting emotional and stuff. Yeah. What a time to buffer. Wow, look how empty the streets are. Tamil Nadu government has allowed the film and TV shoots to resume in the state. Damn, damn! <laughs> damn! <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. You know what would be dope? What? If we had a... a oh. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Well, that was unexpected. Why did the sound cut out? It's for dramatic effect. We may stumble and fall. I can read. Oh, definitely dramatic effect. Wise words. I was wondering if we'd get to see Ajith Kumar do his own motorcycle stunts because I heard he's a avid motorcycler. 
Wow. So I was going to say, because we just watched earlier today the uh, Moto vlog with Flying Beast and John Abraham, and I was like, oh, it'd be cool if Flying Beast made an appearance in this for no reason other than the fact then that... The fact that he did a vlog with John Abraham Well, no, because he can ride riding. a motorcycle. It's yeah. just like... You know, you want to promote your movie every opportunity you get. Throw some YouTubers in there. Just give them a little cameo. Oh my God, it's Flying Beast. Oh my phone. God, it's Jabby. I can't ride a motorcycle. You could learn. I'd be like the guy going, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Running away. That hurt my ears. Don't, don't hurt me. <laughs> Squawking. You're like, ah! No, I cannot. Yeah. No. Ah, a lamp. <laughs> this is really cool. I was very impressed by the amount, the sheer amount, the sheer volume of practical action going yeah. on in this movie because there is that temptation to just do CGI because it's easier, it's notably, you know, safer. There's something visceral and exciting about seeing what you know almost unquestionably is real. When it's CGI, it can't be helped oftentimes this, um, what do you call that effect? Uncanny Valley? The Uncanny Valley effect. It's a, it's hard to like not feel that. Even earlier today, we were watching Boba Fett and mm -hmm. we could see the difference between practical stuff and CGI stuff, right? Sure. And there's just that small part of you that gets pulled out a smidge whenever it's CGI. Whereas when it's all practical and real, like it's more engaging for some odd reason. Yeah, that's true. Now, CGI has gotten pretty good where sometimes you can't tell. Mm -hmm. But here, they're obviously going out of their way to really do it for reals as much as they can. And they're so much so that this advertisement is pushing it, right? And that yeah. gets me all, all the more pumped. Again, to echo what I said before, I really, really hope that it's not lost in editing. Especially when you see stuff like Ajith Kumar falling off the back of his bike like that and almost, you can get really seriously hurt with shit like that, right? Yeah. And so for him to take chances on his life, I don't like that personally. I wish that they had like wires and stuff like that on him just to keep him safe. You know, it's the star he, of the he's show. The star. That, yeah, that's yeah. a big liability. I mean, in, in the States, you have to insure the star for a lot, especially yeah. if they're doing their own stunts. It's like, right, exactly. ah, you should be letting someone, a, a professional, do that. Saying that though, I did hear that Ajith Kumar is actually, you know, very good at riding a motorcycle Irrespective. and he can do that stuff. But yeah, no. Irrespective. I mean, I get it. Tom Cruise does the same shit, but it's like, yo, that's a billion dollars right there. So yeah. And then you sprain your ankle or whatever on the set of Mission Impossible. And then all of a sudden the shooting schedule is screwy because exactly. the, the star broke so, his foot or whatever. But all that being said, because of the amount of hard work being put into this and the risk being taken, or the risks, I should say. Yeah. I really hope that the film is not lost in bad editing. That's my biggest thing because I want to be able to see what's happening. I sure. want to be able to appreciate it. You know, one of the things I found very gratifying about the recent, um, the Batman trailer, during certain sequences, you could really see like stuff wasn't just cut, 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 cut. Yeah, it like, was long takes. Longer takes. Yeah. So you could appreciate it. You know, that's what people like about John Wick as well is the longer takes. That's my biggest hope is because it's clear these are professionals, these are trained professionals doing some crazy ass stuff. Yeah. Like even with the wire suspension, you know, the guy hanging off the side of the bus who's like... Yeah, that right. looked really scary. Right. There's just something about that. You know, he's kind of hanging upside down. It's like, yeah, even though he's connected with wires to this contraption on top of the bus, it just looks really scary and risky. You well, know? it's in the truest sense of the word harrowing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. It is crazy. So I really appreciated this video. I think it's dope and I can't wait to watch the film. I'm really, really hoping that the final product is as cool as these ads are making it out. Sure, yeah. So you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.